Welcome, what's up everybody? It's Smooth checking back in at the Come Up Experience 2023 in Brooklyn. I am here with Butta and her mother. Hello, hi, how are we hello, feeling? Hello, hello. We're feeling excited. good. Everybody's excited. looking good tonight. Yes. We're excited. Yes. yes. Aww. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love yeah. it. Okay, how is everybody feeling? Welcome to the orange carpet. Okay, on the way here, what were your thoughts? Um, I was a little bit nervous because it's my like first type of like carpet thing. Yeah. And I think we just talked about it and we were just like, we're going to have a good night tonight, right? Just I'm excited for her. I know that next year hopefully she'll be here as a nominee. Her. Yeah. Her. But her. <laughs> Did you give her any advice before you guys came here? Uh, it's uh, taking the moment. Yeah, taking the moment. She gives me a lot of advice all the time. Um, and I'm just happy that we're here together and I'm just happy that she gets to see me, you know, keep going and, and constantly put myself out there because as an artist, I know how scary it is to perform or even put yourself out there, but you have to keep doing it. Yeah. And I just have, I'm just happy that I have someone that's Aww. very supportive and my mom at the same time. Yay. And my mom. Aww. Thank you for my mom. <laughs> Yo. You, you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her. No, stop. Stop. But thank you. This is a yeah. great thing. I'm happy yeah. that you get to um, join her on her journey yeah. here and just be present for these things yes. and just like feel the most that she also feels at mm -hmm. the same time mm -hmm. to your extent. Yes. You know what I mean? Like that's very um, it's very impactful to have that support from yeah. your mother, especially during these time. starting yeah. moments. Yeah, starting exactly, moments. and just yeah. for the rest of the time being. Yes. Um, okay, so we're from the Bronx. We're checking in from the Bronx. Mm -hmm. Okay, where does Uptown start? Uptown, Gun Hill. What we say? No. Um, no. Upward. We're we're in the Norwood section. So upward. Um, two forty first. Cause okay. it's either. You're either going towards, I think, what is that, Mount Vernon? Okay. Or the Bronx, I think, that okay. city line. That's I, said, that I, said, I, no, I said Gun Hill because that's like, I live in that type of neighborhood. Yeah. I live on, my, like, I live in Marshall. Yeah. So I'm that's thinking about, way. I'm thinking that's about Gun Hill immediately. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's no No, way. everybody has a different yeah. answer. So yeah. That's why yeah. I asked. It's very interesting. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's talk about your music. Mm -hmm. Describe your music or describe your sound in three words. Mm. Airy. Futuristic, fly. Okay. And how would you describe her music? Um, melodic, okay. sexy, and ownership. I love that. So that. Her. <laughs> I, no, I like the airy word that you use because, like, I play your music in the morning, like, or when I, whenever I want to feel good or bubbly and bright, like. So it, it definitely flows with that. Like, you have that aesthetic to to match that. Like, I like the fact that you know. That. I I love that, and I really want to be like that person that someone listens to in the morning, and, yeah. Like to start your day, to yeah. to give you that like. Sometimes you need a battery in your back to even because right. exactly. life is hard. No, so sure. sometimes you need that song to just get you in you your back. You need fun and uh, fun. brightness. Yes. So I'm I'm yes. happy that you're bringing fun back to music because yes. you know we went through the Jiro era and you know we've we've watched the the execution or the outcome of what Drill's impact does to us. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you're bringing back like vibrant, fun, yes. bubbly music, yes. like fly girl, yeah, yes. fly girl, feel good music, yeah. like mm -hmm. that's a thing. Um, I definitely want to talk about. It doesn't really matter because that's my shit. Yes. And that's you know it's doing a lot of big things. Mm -hmm. um, so I definitely want to chat about how you feel from start to finish, how to come about actually, why that sample. Okay. And then I want to um, get into just moments after that because you've been going really strong with that song. So yeah. I want to know. Thank you. And I, I just want to say shout outs to you because you yeah. definitely are like a big supporter of mine and you yeah. listen to my music a lot. So, and you bump doesn't really I matter a lot. <laughs> but um, doesn't really matter really. Um, I, I like at one point in my life I was just heavily like trying to get back to the gym yeah. trying to just find like something after the pandemic because yeah. you know we were locked in like lockdown it was we wasn't feeling motivated yeah. like I, I felt like that in that time and I was in the gym a lot and I would hear like songs play in the gym and yeah. you know sometimes you would think like you know who's listening to this yeah. but I was right and um I, before I could, I'm gonna go back a little bit. I always loved Janet Jackson, so yeah. I had actually heard "Doesn't Really pl Matter" play in Janet Jack, like in the gym. Okay. And you know, you ever get those moments where you're just like back to where you first heard it? And I would always remember li watching the movie yeah. "The Nutty Professor." Yeah, exactly. Uh, it, yeah, the yeah. Nutty Professor. Yeah. And just remembering how funny and crazy that yeah. that movie was, but how crazy that song was yeah. just being that soundtrack. In that movie, yeah. You know, so I, it's like this. Me just going to the gym after leaving it, it was just like, nah, I couldn't let it. go of it. I yeah. watched the movie, I was listening to the song back to back, and yeah. I was like, what if I got on this? Yeah. 
started writing something, but I was just like, nah, it's not, it's not good. Which I, which I did a lot during the pandemic was like go back and I, I wrote a lot, but I would go back and forth with what I wanted to do music or not. Okay. So the song came from a dark place, but me wanting to get in my bag and wanting yeah. to do good and wanting to just get out of the funk, like yeah. you know what I'm saying. And I went to the studio with my man. Oh, Shout out to Gotti. What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? <laughs> so I gotta talk to you too about the song. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, so I, I definitely want to chat with you just about like how you made that sample because the way that you chopped the sample up, it wasn't you didn't change the song, but you changed the song. You know what I mean? Like it was lighthearted, it was fun. You amped it up from what it already was. Mm -hmm. So like I definitely want to talk about like what that studio session was like and like how you how you made it better. Well, on, we try not to right do here. too much to it to try to not take away from like the classic feel of the, the the original song. So we kept it we kept it plain and simple. We just added like a new vibe to it. So we just made it more modern. That's all. We didn't do too much to that. It was all hot. How'd you feel in the studio making it? I felt good. I came I went in there like listen like I'm just gonna lay something down. Let's keep this on loop. Yeah. Yeah. And he followed he he was like like yeah we're gonna we're gonna do that. Yeah. And right. I always have these crazy ideas, so I started recording, and everybody was like, whoa. Yeah. Like, sometimes you feel it in the room when you got one, you yeah. know what I mean? And it was one of those times where we all knew that we had one. And every line that I kept going, it was like, oh, yeah. bring that yeah. back. Yeah. Do that again. Every line, every Do it again. Line, like, it was like much. the whole crazy. room was like on some, like, you know, like, so That's that right. session was crazy. Yeah. My cousin sends me videos from that day all the time. Yeah. My cousin Teddy, shout outs to him. He's another person in my life who's very supportive. Oh, my fault, my fault. Come on. Okay. Yeah, baby, go ahead. Go ahead, you good. Alright, come on. Yeah, shout outs to Teddy too. Shout out to Teddy. <laughs> we gotta look over there. Alright, he's another person in my life too who was just like, this song is gonna go. And yeah. We all heard, he was in the room as well, in the studio, and he was just like, this is fire. That's it. Y'all knew from the studio session that that was going to be that. Yes. Mm -hmm. As you should. Okay, so talk about um, your first viral moment with the song. With the um, do you remember song. that? Um, we're talking about like it going just around yeah, or like, viral, viral? Um, I want to say it going around and you seeing just your timeline adapt to it. Okay, so when I posted it on Twitter... Um, I posted like the snippet, like yeah. I didn't even post like the the, song. the the actual visual to it, yeah. and it was going around. It got like like 280 likes yeah. on Twitter, and that's a lot on Twitter. Twitter. Like yeah, yeah, yeah that's a lot. Yeah. And um, I was just like, nah, this is gonna go, because yeah. Twitter, someone's gonna say this shit is trash, or it's this, you know, everyone was saying this is fire. Yeah. Put this out, and yeah. I was just like, it's time. Like you gotta trust your timeline. Yeah. yeah. I love that. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. So how did you feel in that moment once you've seen people like um, gradually bumping it and fucking with it and just things of that nature? So one thing first with doing music, you gotta fuck with your shit regardless. You feel me? So, cause um, someone not bumping it could also make you be like, nah, I don't wanna do this. Yeah. But I knew it was a good song and I had to keep bumping it. But once I started started seeing other people like listening to it, I'm like, it's a good song. Yeah. And I just wanted to be timeless. And so let's talk about now TikTok because mm -hmm. it went viral on TikTok. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about that moment because each each platform is a different type of viral in okay. a way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. So like, how did you feel about it going viral on TikTok? Um, it it didn't go crazy viral on TikTok, but people a lot of people did listen listen to it on TikTok yeah. and um. That's not where I I don't I don't post a lot on there. Yeah. So for it, it to be going it's like doing organic. what it's doing, it was good. Yeah. It felt good, you know. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the radio. The radio was a crazy feeling. I was actually working. I was in the studio, Word. and um, my my man didn't want to tell me that I was gonna be on the radio because it's like Word. the radio is always an iffy subject. You yeah. don't know if you're gonna get, be on there or not, so you yeah. don't want to tell people, you know. But he was like, listen, you might be on the radio tonight. Fire. And also shout out to Kanai who another person on my team who just makes shit works yeah. she's just like yo she's a force to be regular with. like you know what I mean like but she had hit him she was like it's gonna go tonight Her. and um I didn't I, I, I was being a little bit doubtful because yeah. I, I don't really always think things are gonna work but I was listening but it, happened. To, it happened and I was listening to it on my phone and it popped and it went on the radio and I cried Aww. that whole way home yeah. I love that. <laughs> no, that's a beautiful thing. That's mm -hmm. a moment. It that, was a moment. I'll never forget. Yeah, I, I, when I got home, I wrote about it in my journal. I love that. Mm -hmm. 
I love that. <laughs> That's so powerful. Yeah. No, like, I love that. Because I wanted to remember it. Like, yeah. nah, this really happened. That happened to you, absolutely. That's your real life, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. So you should take that in and never forget that feeling. Like, you're no. always going to chase that high. Yeah. You feel me? So mm -hmm. I'm happy that you get to experience it at any point in your life, but more so now because we're super young and we're super, like, we're just, we're still just starting. Yeah. You know, we're still mm -hmm. coming up. Like, that's the whole point of this. Yeah, but me, like, mm -hmm. both of us. We're, we're, we're capturing it as, as we're doing it. taking our mm -hmm. steps. So the fact that, and you're, you're performing tonight, no? Yes, I'm yes. performing tonight so as well. Like, so it's just, like, all coming, like, together. Full like, circle. Full, it's, full it's circle. coming together for you. Mm -hmm. And I'm very happy to, like, I was telling your mom, I was like, yo, I followed her. We've been following each other for like maybe a year and a half, two years now. Yeah. Literally just off the strength of like us being fly girls. Like it wasn't even on no music business no. shit. Like, mm -hmm. so the fact that like I've got to watch- And good energy. Like, feel me? Mm -hmm. Like just straight vibes. Mm -hmm. So it's like for us to develop into where we're at now in both yeah. of our careers. And mm -hmm. now we're able to come here and like have this conversation. Mm -hmm. Like that's a really good thing. Yeah. That's a very impactful thing. I feel thing. like we're both being like big girls right now. Right? Yeah, no, we are. We are, period. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Her. Mm -hmm. Okay, per. That's like, nice. you'll never like you'll never forget this. You feel never. me? Mm -hmm. Like you're on the orange carpet. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so chat with me about how you found out about the come up shows and like about um you performing and just things of that nature. Again, with my team and Kanai just putting that together and like my team as a whole. Yeah. Um, we just felt like it was a good thing to pop out tonight and uh, there's a lot of talented people here. Yeah. So just to be here performing is a, is great. I love that. Mm -hmm. right? Um, talk to me about your three favorite songs right now, 2020. My three favorite songs, I'm not going to lie, I, I was just talking about it. That Nikki that dropped, Okay. I'm proud of Nikki, you know what I okay. mean? But that Everybody is crazy. Yeah. Um, what's another song? I've been, bump, I've been bumping, um, hmm, I love Drake. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go back to Nikki. I like Needles too. Okay. On Nikki album. And I've, I've bumped a lot of Drake. So before I came here, I was listening to um, Drake, um, Funnel Waves. Word. Okay. That's always gonna fill be. Fill away. Fill away. Fill away. That's gonna always <laughs> be in my That does it for you. No. Every story. tone. That's always gonna hit. I'm mm -hmm. not mad at that at all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Before we wrap it up, and I'm so grateful to be talking to you, but before we wrap it up, um, everybody has to give by network an exclusive. Okay. It can be about anything. Mm -hmm. What is your exclusive? Hmm. Can I give an exclusive about myself? About anything, yeah, of right. I got a project coming up. Yeah. I'm not going to drop the name of it yet, but I got a project coming up and it's going to really embody my sound in the Bronx and yeah. what we're doing it for. Yeah. And flash it. And I can't wait to put it out. I can't wait to support you in that. Like, that's that's very exciting. We're all anticipating that. So I'm very happy that you know that you got to feed the streets now because yes. now they're hungry for mm -hmm. you. Know Thank me? you. So. Yeah. And I'm coming with that. Sure. I'm coming with that. I'm so, so proud away. of you. Thank I'm you. I'm very, very, very proud of you. It was really great talking to you. I love you. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. They don't wanna fuck with me